This is the Holy Grail. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to Burgerland. Today we're talking skincare. So right here I have all the products I use. I've broken them up into the categories of shaving, acne care, and everyday care. So these are the products I use. I'm gonna share my tips and tricks, how I apply them, how I use them, and how they benefit me. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. So the first category I have is shaving. I only shave about once a week. I don't grow hair on my face that fast and it's not very thick. I don't get a five o'clock shadow until maybe three days after shaving. Some guys consider that lucky. Some guys consider it unlucky, just depending on the style you're going for. So what I do is after I uh, wash my face with some nice warm water, I will apply some pre-shave oil. This is super important to get some lubrication on your face so the razor slides nice and easy and you're not pulling or tugging any hairs which can cause bumps, uh, razor burn, ingrown hairs to grow. So this is the Art of Shaving pre-shave oil in the scent, sandalwood, which I find this scent to be super pleasant. Just a small amount in your palm, rub, it to get, rub your hands together, apply that to your face. And then I use the Art of Shaving shaving cream in the same scent, sandalwood. This stuff goes a long way. You just need a little scoop with your finger, wet your hand with some water, lather it up, apply it, and then I just use a five blade razor and shave my neck and face in the direction of hair growth. Super important. Again, you don't want to tug at hairs. You don't want to get ingrowns, razor burn, or bumps. And then after I'm done shaving, I know the Art of Shaving this does come in a collection with an aftershave uh, moisturizer, which smells great, but this stuff works very well. This is Forever Living Gentleman's Pride. It's an aloe-based aftershave gel. It's not the best smelling, but it really keeps my neck and face super moisturized after I'm done shaving, so it does help prevent those bumps, dryness, and razor burn. This is super moisturizing so I will use this for two to three days after I am after I shave and then I stop using it and then I'll, I won't use it again until I shave again. Next category is what I use to treat acne. When I was a teenager I had pretty bad acne. It cleared up uh, with the help of a prescription medication my doctor wrote me. Uh, my doctor told me that all the over-the-counter items, they're just really good cleansers, but nothing's gonna really treat the acne, which was bacteria for my case, unless I got a prescription medication, which I did, and it helped, it cleared up. But I do get the occasional breakout, stress pimple. So what I use on my skin to treat acne is this Neutrogena Clear Pore Oil Eliminating Astringent. So I don't use this all over my face because this can be super drying for me. So I'll just apply this to areas that I do experience acne just to keep pores clean and oil out. And then any spots where I do get a pimple or a stress pimple where I can feel one coming on, I use this Mario Badushku, is that my saying that right? Badushku uh, drying lotion. This comes in a bottle with pink settlement at the bottom and then clear liquid at the top. You don't wanna mix it up, you wanna keep it separate. And then you just use a clean Q-tip, dip it straight down into the pink settlement, pull it out, and then you just apply to the spots that you need to do spot treatment on. You leave it on overnight. This stuff doesn't smell the greatest. Sometimes I don't wanna use it because the smell is pretty heinous, but it does work rather well, especially if you catch the pimple, you know, before it becomes a super big problem. I've had some great success at preventing a big old nasty thing on my face by treating with this the night before. And now I'm moving into my daily skincare routine. This is the Biore Charcoal uh, Acne Clearing Cleanser. This is safe to use every day. I do wash my face every day with this in the shower. Um, it does have salicylic acid, so it does help treat acne. I have pretty mixed skin. Um, I get oily blotches on my forehead, on my sides of my face, and like bridge of my nose area. So this does do a good job at keeping my skin oil free all day. One thing that would be super annoying is 
you know, you go through the day, you're fine, then three, four o'clock rolls around, especially in the summer months, is you get this like layer of sweat and grease on your face, which I find disgusting. I do keep some face wipes in my desk drawer at work, which if I am feeling a little bit oily that day, I will wipe my face down with a with a face wipe. So a while back at work, a couple co-workers told me, you, you aren't looking great, are you tired, are you sick, you have sick eyes, and I'm like, what does that mean? And they said, you could just, we could just tell by your eyes, you, you, it looks like you don't feel well, and I was feeling fine. So I looked in the mirror and I said, oh yeah, they're, they are onto something. I had bags and dark circles under my eyes. So I asked one of my female friends, you know, hey, what do you, what do you recommend or what do you use for dark circles and puffiness under your eyes? Because, you know, people are telling me I look tired. And she kind of laughed and she said, well, I, I put on concealer for that. And I said, is, is that makeup? And she's like, yeah. And now, if you want to put on makeup, that's your thing. That's great. Makeup's not something I want to put on. So I said, well, I'm not going to put makeup on. Is there something else you're grooming? And she said, get yourself a good, you know, under eye cream. Now, I have to tell you, this is, this is ridiculously expensive but it kind of works. So this was moderately ranged price. I think it was about $34. This is from Honest Beauty. It's the Deep Puffer Eye Gel. It's a half ounce, 15 milliliters, and it's, it's a small tube. It's a small tube of eye gel, and it's $34. I mean, you only need a very tiny bit, but this does help with puffiness. It is cooling. It does lighten the under eye area a little bit makes me look a little bit more awake it's not makeup it's a white translucent gel which you pat in with this metal tip applicator right under the eyes so you don't have to worry about people saying like hey man are you wearing makeup and be like uh no awkwardly um this last product this is the holy grail this is my ride or die for my face product i use every day i have been using for about four years now Sorry about that, my battery just died while I was in the middle of filming. So, it's the Clinique for Men Oil Control Mattifying Moisturizer. I have been using this every day for the past three to four years. This works great for combination skin. Like I said, I've got some oily spots and I, I do get some dryness right on my cheeks here and then in like my eyebrow area. This does it all, it mattifies the oily spots on my face so they're not shiny they're nice and flat and matte and it also moisturizes them. so it, it does it all this works great it's very lightweight it has no scent to it um i believe this is the same product as the regular clinique um dramatically different mattifying moisturizing gel which this is just the same marketed for men. I've used both, I couldn't tell a difference. Um, I went to the counter at Macy's and I just asked the lady there, you know, hey, I have some dryness on my face, but I also have some oily spots. Anything you could recommend that would work for kind of both because the moisturizer I use makes my whole face just look greasy. And she recommended this to me, and she also told me that it's the same stuff as the other one. So this was recommended to me. I've been using it ever since. It is a great product. Out of all these products on the table, this one is my favorite. I think it's the best product I have found and used. Works for me. Keeps me matte, looking fresh, feeling good all day long. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you find my tips and tricks helpful. Go ahead and hit that like button if you liked today's video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know some of the products you use, some of your tips and tricks on how you get better, healthier, clearer skin. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.